Yo, yo, what's up, leaders? Listen, it's the coolest canapreneur in the world, Vincent Owens, and we're back at it. I, I told you guys 2021 is the year of the leadership, right? And with it being the year of the leadership, guys, you got to understand that with you, right, it, it comes natural. With you uh, shifting your leadership, right, uh, when it comes to your family, right, when it comes to your business, right, when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to you shifting your leadership, guys, when it comes to you shifting your leadership, all right, there's going to be some things that you're going to come across that's going to allow you to become massively successful, right? So in 2021, we want to become massively successful. So in order for us to even understand success, I got to break down the success formula. Now, this formula was um, something that I got about two years ago, and it's completely changed my life, right? So success, all right, all right, success equals desire, right, plus the skill set, all right, times the faith, all right? Success equals desire plus the skill set times the faith, so, so we got to break down each one of these words, and I'm going to do it really quick, all right? All right but I have to tell you that it's, it, it goes a lot more in depth, but I guess I just want to give you guys some key pointers on each one of these, right? So desire, how do you desire something? The number one thing that you need to understand about desire is desire is the starting point, right? It's the starting point of all achievement. It's your first step toward riches. So in order for you to be able to uh, attract the things that you desire, right? In order for you have to first desire it. See, I'm going to tell you like this, nothing in the world that you desire, did you get it without activating your five senses, all right? Without activating your five senses. So the very first and most important thing when it comes to desiring something is you have to be able to use your eyes, right? Because anything that your eyes see, all right, it's an immediate yes, right? Anything that your eyes see, it is an immediate yes. Yes, because see, your eyes are the gateway to your heart, right? Your, your eyes are the gateway to your heart. And whatever your heart, whatever goes into your heart is what you'll end up doing action because you'll desire that thing, right? The second sense that's super important in your desiring, right, is your hearing. Because see, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Right. So faith comes by hearing in order for you to desire something. You have to first have faith that you, too, can have it. Right. So if you can see it, you can have it. If you can hear it, you'll believe it. Right. Because you take the H off of here and that there's the ear. Right. So your ear is the second gateway, the second pathway to you accessing your desires. Right. Another if you want to take it up a notch. Right. And, and you want to take this thing to the next level, family. You want to go out and you want to touch it. Right. You want to touch it. See, see, it, 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 it changes. Everything changes when you go out and you touch the car. You go out and you touch the condo. You go out and you touch the things that it is that you want. You go out and put on the Audemars. You go out and put on the Rolls Royce, right? See, see, I mean, put on the Rolex, right? So you got to understand that in order to be able to desire, you also have to touch it. Another thing that you have to be able to do is also to be able to taste it right you have to go to the fine restaurants right you have to go and eat at the places right you have to you know if damn near you want to taste the leather on that rolls royce right and then the fifth thing the fifth sense all right you're able to see it you're able to hear it touch it taste it and you definitely want to be able to feel it because feelings right being able to touch the the things that you want God will never expose you to something that you cannot have. That's your desires. So once you have your desire, once you know what it is that you desire, then you can move on to the skill. Now, I need you guys to understand that this is the spiritual side, right? Desire is the spiritual, spiritual side of your success. And that success, all right, I'm going to put it in a different color. That success is 90% of the battle. Right. That success is 90 percent of the battle. So your skills, what are the skills that you're going to need? Well, it depends on what you're doing. Right. So I, I, t I have a saying that instead of you working on in 2021, becoming a millionaire, become a skillionaire. Right. Develop your skills of speaking. De develop your skills of orating. Develop your skills of writing. Develop your skills of reading. Develop your skills of communicating. Develop your skills of sales. Develop your skills of people development. Develop your skills of, of, of anything. Math, science. I don't care what it is. Develop the skills. But you got to have that desire to even get over to the skill part. 
right? Because you got to understand that the skill side is the easy part. See, the skill side is only 10% of your success. So now that you know that you don't have to work hard, see, you don't need a whole lot of hard work in 2021, right? You don't have to H-A-R-D, right? You don't have to work hard. What you have to do is you have to have the heart work, right? You have to lead from your heart. You have to desire it. You got to see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, feel it. You got to desire it, it deep in your heart. All right. And then you then you work on the skill sets, right? So many different skills that you can learn, right? So many different skills. And when you become a master of that skill, see, one thing that I got to let you know is this part right here, the skills part is one word that, that, that is going to that, that's going to matter on this. Right. And it's time. Right. It's time. Things I must experience. You have to be persistent through the hard times. You have to be persistent through the good times. You just have to be persistent, period. Right? You have to be persistent, period. So you want to talk about, you want your skills. You want to become a skillionaire. Well, are you willing to follow the 10,000 hour rule? See, in day trading, it's 10,000 hours. Speaking, 10,000 hours. I'm putting in my hours. That's a lot of hours. So it's, it's better to start today with putting in your what? Your 10,000 hours. Thomas Edison, greatest, one of the greatest inventors of, of all time. All right. He failed over 10,000 times before he created the light bulb. Are you willing to fail 10,000 times? Are you willing to fail over and over and over again so that you can finally become a master of your craft? Right. And the last part is faith, right? Faith. Faith comes by what? Hearing. Faith comes by hearing, right? And hearing the word of God. So, so desire and faith are 90%. They go hand in hand, right? So you got to understand that, that in order for you to have faith in something, you cannot have fear because that's the complete opposite, right? That is the complete opposite. Faith versus fear. Fear standing for false evidence appearing real. So what are you allowing? What false evidence in your life are you allowing to appear real to keep you from the faith so that you can desire what it is that you want so you can ultimately go out and do the work? Because you got desires. I know. Yep. I know. I know. Listen, in 2021, what desires do you have? Because you got desires, right? What desires do you have in 2021? It's the coolest canopreneur in the world. Listen in the comments below. Drop your desires. Write the vision. Make it plain. Put it onto tablets because those that see it shall run to it. Listen, he said, although it may tear. You got desires, $100,000 bill. You got desires, Rolls Royce Cullinan because I know I surely do.